Cindy here, physical therapist with Adaptive Equipment Corner. Today we are going to do a review video on the reacher that I have in my hands here. The brand name of this reacher is called Grab It. Now I know we've done some videos on reachers before, but this one happened to catch my eye. I was watching and saw it on TV, so I thought that I would purchase it and see what types of features it had and if they actually worked like they were advertised. So we're going to review some of the features here on this particular reacher. So we're going to start here at the end of the reacher. Um, on this one in particular, it has a magnet right here on the very end. It also has a hook. This is the grasping arms here, and they're lined with a rubber uh, surface. Now, the grasping arms down here can be used in two different ways. So they can use, be used horizontally like this, or they can be turned and be used vertically. Inside the grabber arms, there is a small light right here, a little flashlight. Okay, And as we move down the reacher, right here in the middle, there's a push button that allows you to push and fold this up so you can actually store this in a drawer. So that's a nice feature there. On the other end of this uh, reacher, you have, here's the on and off button for your flashlight at the end. There's also another button here at the top that slides forward and back to change the reacher from a standard reacher to a ratcheting reacher, okay? So it's, it's either a standard grip on the end of this reacher that you maintain the grip down here, or it's a ratcheting where you grip here, it ratchets closed and holds itself closed. So we're going to demonstrate a few of these features right now. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is just demonstrate the, the, standard, uh, the standard feature where I'm just pulling in with my grasp and grabbing onto something. So we're going to use this can here, and I'm going to use it in the horizontal position here. So if I come up and I'm grabbing this can, I'm just using a standard grasp here. I grab a hold of it. Now with the length of this, you're going to have to use a little bit of a, a support if you grab something as heavy as this can. So what I'm doing is just using this, uh, raising it up, and there you have the standard feature of the grasp. Um, now this uh, grabber is in all, in the, the full length is about 40 inches. From where your hand is to about where it's grabbing things is about 34 to 35 inches. So it's a pretty nice length. The only thing is, is when you grab something, it's a little long to actually pull that to you and then take a hold of it. So you're going to have to just grab something bring it to a surface that's close to you, set it down so that you can get a hold of it. It would be like me picking up this spoon here and trying to grab a hold of it. It's a little long for me to grab that direction, okay? So I would just bring this closer, whoops, bring that closer to me so that I can take a hold of it. Now, I want to demonstrate also um, the ratcheting part of this reacher. Now, I do want to say this is the only feature that concerns me a little bit. You have to move this sliding button back and forth here on the top, and I want to tell you it's difficult to get back. So I can't just pull it back myself. It's the, the lip here to pull it back is a little short, and I can't get a hold of it. So what I ended up having to do is I used a spoon, the, the, the uh, side of the spoon. I put it there on the little lip and I used the force of my hands in to pull it back. It was pretty easy to, to do it that way, but I could not do it with my fingers. So now that it's in the ratcheting mode, you can hear when you grab, so it ratchets the end of this shut, okay? The way you release it is this little blue button on top right here. So that will release it. So let me demonstrate again grabbing this can. So I put it around here. You can hear the ratcheting, okay? So I ratchet that, and now I'm not having to hold on as I lift this can, okay? And to release it again, I'm pushing this little blue button at the top. Now, to get this button again back into standard mode, difficult, all right? So I have to use a spoon again. And here's the trick to this, is doing this is you actually have to push this blue button down to get this to move back, okay? So when doing that, when I'm pushing this button down, then I'm bringing that back forward. Now, I'm going to tell you, if you only have use of one hand, that, this feature right here is going to be difficult. Um, this is a nice uh, reacher, but if you have to, if you want to use both features and you only have use of one hand, you, you may either, you're going to need help or you may want to reconsider. But again, pretty nice features on this so far. Um, the other thing I want to demonstrate here is uh, some of the advertisements say 
this little hook can pick up a necklace off the floor. I did try that. I'm not going to show you because it was quite cumbersome. I was able to get a necklace up off the floor with this after multiple tries on carpet, but the necklace had to be looped. It had to be clasped, so it was kind of difficult. Um, I was not able to pick it up with the hook off of the wood floor, but I did find that I could actually pick a necklace up off just with the grabber arms themselves. So I'm going to demonstrate that. We're also going to demonstrate the magnet. So we've got a few things here on the floor. I do have a necklace here on the floor, and I'm just going gra to grab it with this. You can pick that necklace up fairly easy with this. Okay. I have a dime here on the floor, Okay, so I can pick this up as well with the, the grabber. Okay, and then I have a paper clip, and here the magnet works very well to pick up the paper clip off the floor. Okay, um, this reacher comes with a nice little uh, colored brochure that gives you instructions on each feature, which I liked. Um, so this this grabber or this this grab it brand reacher is available. Um, as of today, I looked on the internet; it is available. They have a specific website. It's called grabberoffers.com. Now, we will put that website below if you're interested. Right now, they're offering two of these for the price of one, but you do have to pay uh, separate shipping and handling. So one is at, uh, priced right now at $19.99. The shipping and handling for each is $5.99. So for two of these, you're going to pay close to $32. Um, all in all, I do like the features of this. Again, the ratcheting versus the standard mode of the grabber, little difficult to switch back and forth, but all, all in all, I do like this. So if you've liked this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also check us out on aecorner.com. We've got a whole library of different videos um, demonstrating all kinds of adaptive equipment. I hope you have a great day, and don't forget, if you can't do it, adapt it.